Hello Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show how I made this card. It's a quick, easy, simple card to make and I'm going to show you what I did. Right, for this card, oh, stamps that I'm using. Ray Vassal. And I'm using Always Thinking of You and the script. Card, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. Have a piece of white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Go inside. A piece of rich. Is that rich rice or berry? No, it's not. Black Ray Bliss of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. No, eight and a quarter. Five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I have a piece of white here at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And it's not, it's five and three eighths by three and five eighths. Got it right. And I have used the nesting dies to cut out the center of this card. And I didn't bring the nesting dies over with me. No, I didn't. And that is what I've cut out there. This leaf in the middle with the little hearts on is one of my own. I don't know where it come from. It's got no markings on it. I've got a pair of them. One facing that way and one facing the other way. And I'm using that. You can use any leaf you want if you case this card. And I've got a strip of white for the sentiment. The um, thread I think is either granite grey or Sahara sand. I'm not sure. It's just a little reel I found. In fact, I didn't bring it with me. I haven't got much of it left. It's just, I think I got this off of Katie Freeman with like a set she sold or something. So I'm going to use that. Right, let's get started. So first of all, what we're going to do is stamp the script on the inside of this. So we're just going to stamp it there in that does cover it, isn't it? Near enough in Blackberry Bliss. It's the only ink colour I'm using. Now on this one I just you can't see I just um brush some hearts in the middle. I don't want to do that on this time. I am going to stamp in some script. Now you can't see it. I don't suppose you can. No, oh just if I hold it like that. It's just to take the plainness away from the card. And I've gone all over there and do it again. I think it really matters because you can't see it all that well, but I can see it. Should have maybe embossed it, that would have been better. But we'll just leave that like that. Can you see that? I can see it without the light shining on it on camera. And then we need to stamp 
the sentiment. Let's hope I can get this in the middle of this. Right, we want it in the middle, like that, and then we're going to cut, put it straight. Oh. side done. Now what I did last time when I made the first card it was an absolute fluke that it fitted across there. Just a pure fluke. So now I'm going to angle the edges like that and this one will go like that. And that will go across there. It's not quite a point. Yes, that's that done. Get rid of them. Close this ink up. And we'll put this card together. Once you've cut all your bits out, I haven't cut my, tree, my leaf out yet, but we'll do that. Right, I've got bigger. gaps on this and I normally have not even I can see that oh there it is right let's bring back the sidekick and Cut one of these out. I'm trying to get it out without it all catching up on the cardstock. You can see here I've got there's the other leaf and I've got two of them bubble ones as well. Everything I've got in here apart from that one is two. Two of them ones as well. I've had them so long I don't know where I get them from or I got them from. Um, it would have either been um, the range or Amazon because that's where I used to get all my um, crafting stuff when I first started now this will go in there like that so it is the opposite way from the other one and it just goes flat so and I'll just put a pop of glue on each little heart Down. 
this will go on dimensionals which are over here And we'll pop that about there. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now I want to cut this into threes. So I want a triple bow. Tie a bow. Don't usually have trouble tying a bow. smaller and then we'll just trim the ends up come on and that will on there like that. Bit of glue and glue it down. Just pop the inside one in. I'm sure I've got messes somewhere amongst my stamps to put inside. And that is that. I'm not putting any gems on this one. Just want to leave it plain and simple. Well, that's it. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more on my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more cards I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.